after the horrific attack in Orlando, one has to wonder whether some on the left were going to wake up to the danger posed to them by radical Islamic, Islamic terrorists. Donald Trump touched on this in his speech today in New Hampshire. Many of the principles of radical Islam are incompatible with Western values and institutions. Remember this, radical Islam is anti-woman, anti-gay, and anti-American. Well, more Americans um, of all persuasions rally behind Trump because of these attacks and wake up to the anti-American ways of radical Islam. Here to answer that from West Hollywood is the chairman of American Grizzlies United, Thomas Schmitz. Thomas, welcome back to the show. Good to have you. Dr. Gina, hello. Thomas, illuminated Thomas. Illuminated, very. I've got a halo. You have a halo, that's right. All right, Thomas, you live in the heart of the left coast in uh, West Hollywood, and uh, I just want to ask you right away, are people going to wake up now that Islamic terrorists have actually massacred occurred a nightclub full of homosexuals? Here in Hollywood, people are waking up. Um, I upgraded my cell phones a couple weeks ago, and the young millennials behind the counter at Verizon uh, were all telling me that they like Donald Trump and they're going to vote for Donald Trump. It's just kind of under the radar, kind of on the DL, on the down low. There's a lot of Donald Trump supporters here in Hollywood. It's just that people are kind of afraid because Hollywood can be so tyrannical, uh, like the Obama regime and like uh, Hillary Clinton uh, with their soft tyranny and mocking and just denigrating those who stand up for what America truly is. You know, Hillary Clinton pretends to be a friend of the gay community and she is no friend of the gay community. Uh, today, I have it right here, she tweeted out, we cannot demonize, demagogue, and declare war on an entire religion. Hate is not the answer to hate. Well, you know what? Look, woman, we cannot demonize, dem demagogue, and declare war on an inanimate object like guns, stupidity is not the answer to hate. You know, she can't have it both ways. You know, I'm sure her Saudi donors didn't like her tweet today about support for the LGBT. She can't have it both ways. Her immigration policies are are designed to bring in more of a threat to us here. But she, but she, still Thomas, have the she really products that do, doesn't work. But she really and, does, Thomas, have it both ways. Actually, she, you know, she she says that she's all about being the first woman president, that she's going to be an advocate for women when she's taken tens of millions of dollars, Thomas, from governments that oppress women horribly, won't even let them go to school, that don't give them a full person status in courts, that uh stone women to death that throw homosexuals off of buildings. So she actually is getting away with it. Their propaganda machine is strong. How do you combat that? Well, we the people, we refuse to allow America to become a place where gay people, where Christian people, where Jewish people, our targets are persecuted and intimidated by radical Islamic terrorists. And Mrs. Clinton doesn't seem to get that. She doesn't seem to be able to understand that we have to prioritize the, the law protection of law-abiding people who just want to live their lives, feed their families, and do their jobs. And... These people who died on Sunday were just out having a good time and dancing, and these radical Islamic terrorists came and killed them. This is not about guns. This is not about homosexuality. This is about holy war. And until our leaders get that, this will continue. This is a holy war. The other side knows it. We know it. But our leaders refuse to say it. This is a holy war. It's nothing new. This has been going on for centuries. That's right. You know, the word assassin, it, it, it has an Islamic origin. You know, in school, you know, we were taught, oh, the evil Christians and their crusades came and killed all the poor little innocent Muslims. Well, something tells me that perhaps they were behaving the way they are now. Some things don't change. Thomas, um, there was a group of LGBT folks uh, who came out today and said that they were going to support Donald Trump. They don't even like him. They, they said straight up they don't like him. Uh, but they believe that he is the type of leader, uh, almost a general type of leader, military general type of leader, who will uh, get the job done, get this 
cancer on our culture, uh, which is radical Islam, stopped. Um, are you hearing more of that in West Hollywood? And, and what do you think, do you think someone communicated with these people or do you think they just observed this and caught on to the lies they've been told? Because they've been used for so long. Oh, it's organic. People are catching on. The American people are not stupid. The American people are tired of Obama just monkeying around in the White House and pussyfooting around Islamic terrorists for eight years, and now it's come to our soil. You know, this never would have happened under uh, President Bush because President Bush kept us safe. You know, peace through strength works, but when you have an administration who has destabilized the entire Middle East, East, which Mrs. Clinton did, and allowed ISIS to retake land that our women and men in uniform died securing. And the summer before the election, we watched ISIS march across land. Again, our women and men in uniform died securing that land. And we could have taken out ISIS then, but we didn't because it was 55 days before an election. And we couldn't have we couldn't have that going on with this president with his hopey change of crap. And so now, <laughs> no, gay people are waking up. But it's not just gay people. It's people are waking up. The yeah. silent majority is waking up. We must stop self-segregation. Until yeah. we stop self-segregation, we're going to keep having problems. I like you that. cannot divide I like Americans that word. into little boxes. Yeah, I like that word a lot because I've often used the word gender identity, but self-segregation is actually a better uh, term, although I don't believe that it's necessarily self-imposed. I think that, you know, Hillary has run again and again, and so has Obama, on every class difference, every gender difference, every skin color difference, every sexual identity difference, uh, age difference. I mean, there's, there's pretty much nothing they won't use to divide us. And yet they talk about coming together all the time. So what, talk for a moment to conservatives who want to be able to talk to those groups of people that have been uh, marginalized and used by powerful political entities that use them for their votes. Are, you want me to talk about the LGBT? Yeah, whatever you want to talk okay. about here. <laughs> All right. Here's the thing about the LGBT. They started out as the GL. Then they became the LGB. Then they became the LGBT. Now they are the LGBTQ. Okay, why? It's, because, it's called brand protection. OK, once they started winning these little battles and getting exactly what they wanted at the Supreme Court, they needed a new class of victims to exploit both both financially and psychologically. It's really it's really immoral what they have done to young gay people because they deny them a self identity. The the LGBTQ spoon feeds gay people a self identity that's based in sex. Sex is not very interesting. Dogs do it. They have been doing this for years and they spoon feed this victimology mentality. You know, I have never been discriminated against. I have gotten extra credit uh, for my, uh, for only listening to show tunes and having a fabulous uh, hair. hair Academy Award parties <laughs> and being able to Thomas, uh, we have to leave it there. I always run out of time with you, but you're just one of my favorites. Thanks for being with us. More America Trends right after this.